Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for this Facebook Live on this Monday. It's a holiday. Mm -hmm. And we are not taking the day off. I was going to say, Scott, Dylan, Lisa here. I don't know why I looked at you like you Yeah, you're like looking at you like three seconds. I was like, <laughs> I was like what, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> MLK Junior Day, so no yeah. school today. So, uh, you know, a few offices are closed. We're going to get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. I want to remind you, we do this Facebook Live every weekday morning between 8 and 8.30. Mm -hmm. You can find us anytime on your news feed, also on our Inform YouTube channel, and also on your favorite podcast um, platform just yep. go to inform.com slash podcast and look for the inform minute and you can find that every day yeah and i don't know if you'll be able to see the awkward you know pauses where i just like look to, to dylan when you're listening but just know that it's there <laughs> and you're just not going to talk you're going to add to the whole hey i'm here it's monday it's uh, monday we're all a little bit tired aren't we the weather kind of feels like a monday too because yes. we uh, had the nice weather on sunday had some melting now today we're kind of tracking some different type of stuff going on Okay, I'll talk to you. <laughs> I'm like, how long no, we time? <laughs> yes, um, yesterday was warm. 35 degrees, the high temperature in Fargo. Wow. Grand Forks, 24. Did you wear shorts and flip-flops? Well, I was in Grand Forks, so no. Oh. But I was here, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, last time we were about freezing before yesterday in Fargo was December 15th, which if you remember, that was the week we got a lot of snow. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. We got a lot of snow that week. I was building snowmen all over Fargo. I kind of remember that. I, remember I don't that. remember the date. Unfortunately, but. I haven't done that since. Um, but yeah, we are warming in today. Temperature is upper 20s, so not as warm as yesterday, but still warm mm -hmm. for January. This week, climatologically, the average, now this is the grain of salt, but climatologically, this is the coldest week of winter. Mm -hmm. Now, that means that we are slowly, averages are slowly starting to warm up from now until we go until like August, mm -hmm. but that does not mean that we can't have a couple days below zero because that will probably happen. But climatologically, we're heading in the right direction. Okay, starting I like today. that. I like that. So that's good news. Summer, but otherwise, summer's almost here then, right? Mm, mm. Scott, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we have a long way to go until the summer's here. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> oh, um, okay. A little bit of late snow, southeastern part of the viewing area, so not even close to summer. <laughs> Um, and then also freezing drizzle, which I've been looking at Grand Ooh. Forks. The tower cam is like froze over right now. Oh, really? And I know the roads are slippery, so careful up in the north especially, but anyone can be freezing drizzle. It doesn't take much of that mm. to make everything super, super slick. So yeah, that's for sure. careful of that, for the light snow. And then after that, a little bit cooler the rest of the week. Temperatures back to about where they belong. Upper teens, about average for this time of year. So Alrighty. be there for a while. Okay. I think that's all I have. All right, Dylan. All right. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you for sharing You're welcome. your voice with us. You're I thought you were going to stay quiet the yeah. whole morning. <laughs> now take a break. He'll be back at 11. All right. Cool. Let's dive into some local headlines this morning. Of course, today, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, as you said when we started things off. We hope you enjoy it. If you don't have school, or don't have work, or whatever, just kind of sit back and enjoy the holiday. But um, there are some celebrations of civil rights actually happening across the nation today, honoring MLK Jr., of course. Um, in Fargo, there's an event at the Fargo Theater that's going to feature some singers, dancers, poetry, and some speakers. That's happening this evening from 6.30 to 8.30. And then in Moorhead, MSUM will be hosting an event featuring African-American spirituals, as well as civil rights music, and a discussion panel. That's going to be held at the Roland Dill Center from 11 o'clock this morning till 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so kind of over that lunch hour. And then in Grand Forks, UND will be hosting an MLK brunch. They're going to be giving out social social justice awards to honor MLK. Um, and then David Wall Rice is going to be speaking there at the Memorial Union. That event starts at 1030 this morning and goes until noon. And we already mentioned no school today. Mm -hmm. Also, some government offices will be closed uh, here in the Fargo-Moorhead area. City offices will be closed as well as Cass County offices. Uh, West Fargo City offices, however, will be open today. All library branches in Fargo, West Fargo, and Moorhead will be closed. Uh, this is kind of all over the place. I was wondering, you know, do I need to take my garbage out? I did, <laughs> and so I don't know if that's going to get out in time. Uh, garbage collection scheduled for today will be moved to tomorrow in Moorhead, but Fargo and West Fargo will be doing pickup, uh, garbage pickup today. Uh, another heads up, if you take Matt Bus, it will not be servicing its normal campus route on NDSU's campus today because, of course, there's no school at NDSU today. There are no classes in yeah. session. So call ahead, check ahead. There are some, you know, besides government offices, other businesses closed today. Sure. Because of the holiday. Absolutely. All right, a Jamestown priest is being removed from ministry after being accused of inappropriate contact or 
or conduct, I should say, excuse me. The Fargo Catholic Diocese says it is investigating these allegations against Father Neil Pfeiffer. The bishop says Pfeiffer will not take part in services at Basilica of St. James in Jamestown, St. Margaret Mary's in Buchanan, and at St. Matthias in Windsor. Uh, this is all pending the outcome of an investigation, of course. Now, the allegations, they say, involve adults, not minors. Uh, right now, we're also waiting on autopsy results to confirm if the body of a Minnesota woman who went missing two weeks ago has been recovered. The Aiken County deputies say 55-year-old Ann Wyatt was last seen on January 6th in that same area where they found this body. Mm -hmm. Deputies are now reporting they found a body in the woods near Big Pine Lake on Friday. They do believe at this point it is Wyatt. Uh, the sheriff there says that the woman was couch hopping in the area with all of her possessions in a U-Haul. That U-Haul was actually found parked near that same wooded area and low on gas. At this point, deputies are telling WDA why they do not suspect foul play. All right, we have an update this morning on a crash that left one person dead and another injured near Mandan. Police have now released the names of the three people that were involved in the accident. It was a head-on collision that took place on Thursday night. 24-year-old Carrie Moccasin was driving on Highway 1806, about 20 miles south of Mandan, when her vehicle crossed over the center line and collided with a southbound pickup truck. <clears throat> the driver of the truck was Susie Mesteth. She was injured. However, Moccasin's passenger was not hurt. Uh, Moccasin, though, was reported dead at the scene, and uh, authorities say alcohol is believed to have played a part in this crash. Well, we have kind of crazy video from witnesses on this story we had on First News this morning. The Nisswa Fire Department responded to a fire that actually left two fishing houses in shambles on Roy Lake. Sad to see it, but I know all anglers probably were watching this video yeah. and just like hurts their heart. The fire started with one fishing shack, but then it spread to an adjacent house. Mm -hmm. um, and by the time crews had arrived, uh, bystanders were pulling other because if you look at the video there's quite a few yeah. you know all next to each other so they were trying to pull other fish houses away from the flames to keep that fire from spreading even more uh, too destroyed uh, we believe at this point it sounds like that the fire started inside the battery box of one of those fish houses so yeah. it was kind of crazy video to watch crazy video morning, so. yeah all right let's look at some uh, national headlines this morning this is a big story one expert says it could have been the worst aviation disaster mm -hmm. in all of American history Two passenger planes nearly collided on the runway at JFK Airport in New York. Now, we saw some video on this this morning of a plane, like there was like an animation they played kind of showing what happened um, on ABC. But a plane was barreling down the runway at about 150 miles an hour and had to slam on the brakes when the air traffic controller called into them and said, hey, cancel the takeoff because there was another plane on the same runway that was going I guess in the opposite, yeah, like yeah would have T-boned them. So if you can imagine that at 150 miles an hour, two full planes, could have been a lot of loss of life. But that air traffic controller is being called a hero this morning for their quick actions and their quick thinking. Um, it is still unclear exactly why the second plane was on that runway. Um, so they're kind of just launching an investigation this morning to find out exactly what happened and who is to blame. Yeah. I'm we talked about that a lot during the show and during the commercial work, just processing and seeing, yeah, the, the animation they put together, what was about to happen, Oof. scary stuff. Yeah. Uh, today, a University of Alabama basketball player is accused of murder after a deadly shooting near that campus. Investigators say Darius Miles and another man, Michael Davis, allegedly fired into a vehicle with two people inside. A woman was hit and later died from her injuries. Mm -hmm. Police say the shooting happened after the two groups got into an argument while they were driving near an area of campus known as the Strip. Miles and Davis are currently in jail without bond. Miles is no longer a member of the basketball team. Well, if you're a Minnesota sports fan, specifically the Vikings, you're probably a little bit sad today. Obviously, they lost their playoff game to the Giants yesterday in uh, a heartbreaking fashion. Again, it was the first one-score game they lost all season, and, of course, comes in the first round of the playoffs. That's so. sad. Um, we were kind of talking about this earlier. We knew a lot of people that were at the, yeah, at the game. Yeah, a lot of people so from Fargo Moorhead uh, were there. So my husband was there at the game with <laughs> yeah. some coworkers. So, so yeah, a so, lot of people had to make that sad drive. Well, they're probably coming back today, you know. Yeah, so most likely. But uh, Dom Izzo probably going to be talking about that game Absolutely. and many more of the playoff games, uh, the results, and then what lies ahead now on Hot Mike this morning from 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra and Inform.com. So tune in for all your latest sports football playoff headlines. And remember, now is a great time to get a subscription to Inform.com. 99 cents a month for your first three months. 
you get an all access pass to inform.com. Just go to inform.com slash subscribe to get mm -hmm. that deal. And you can get updates on all the stories we talked about this morning, as well as any new or breaking news, weather alerts throughout the day. We're going to track the weather because we have that icy, slick fog, roads. That's icy scary, roads, yeah. potential snow in places. Mm -hmm. So you want to stay on top of all that. Tune in again. 11 o'clock. Dylan will be on the 11 o'clock giving you those updates. We have newscasts at 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10 as well. And, of course, we'll be back for first news tomorrow morning from 5 to 7. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.